long ways very easily. So I'm going to say we have a wound here over the hock. And what, we, and what we're going to do is we're going to put on these taped stirrups. And I'm going to take a little piece of something here to keep my tape from sticking to itself. So a, a tongue depressor works really well, but I don't have a tongue depressor. All right. So how's my three inch stuff coming along? Right now. Right. Awesome. All right, so now I'm going to take my roll and see how it's set up so that the roll is rolling in this direction. I'm going to lay the flat part on the foot at the toes, and then I'm going to roll it, and then I'm going to overlap. And what I want to make sure, I'm going to start to try and go for about a 50% overlap, and I don't want any wrinkles because that's going to be a pressure point that we're going to get. So I'm going to gently go up here. We're going to continue to advance. So yeah, if this was an open wound, I might have put some sort of um, dressing on it, and that would go underneath my bandage here. But if we say that this is not an open wound, we're just protecting something else, then we're going to go ahead and bandage up. And I, if the, the injury was at the hock, I'm going to go beyond the hock. And actually what I'm going to try and do, because once you go beyond the hock, we want to make sure it doesn't slide down. And we're going to go ahead and try and go up all the way above the knee. And it seems excessive, but we're better off trying to get more coverage than risk losing this bandage. All right, so in a real scenario, I would probably put a couple of layers of this, this cotton on. And in this scenario, I'm still going to put another layer of this cotton on because what I want to do, see how it's going to cone down? I'm going to try and build up the lower part so it's just a little bit less likely to telescope down. And I want to make sure the area of our injury or our wound is well covered. We don't want to incorporate the tail. And so we've got this built up a little bit more than that thicker area. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my more stretchy stuff and I'm going to lie that on in the same direction. And I'm going to lie it on. I'm not going to pull it. If there were, this were Robert Jones, I would crank this down, but here I'm just lying it on so that there's just enough tension on it that it's going to hold and it's not it's going to help prevent the slippage. So here we've got that. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut that. All right, so now we're ready to separate our tape stirrups. We're going to flip them so the sticky side is on the bandage. All right, and now this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and unroll it and re-roll it so that there's less chance of me getting it too tight because this is really stretchy and really potentially dangerous for causing too much pressure. So again, I'm going to pretty much just lay it on with just the slightest amount of tension so that it's not going to cause any kind of constriction. 50% overlap as we go up. You liking that? <laughs> Okay, so now I ran out of the part that I'd already pre-stretched, so I'm going to go ahead and re-roll that. If you keep this stuff in your car and it gets exposed to heat and it gets squished, it's virtually impossible to unroll. So it's one of the best things ever, but it does have its little nuances. Um, so 
you know, especially if they're moving a lot, that extra piece that's got the sticky stuff on it may help up at the top. But it really, if I'm doing it right, then it should actually stay on. This one is a little bit loose, and it'll probably slip a little bit, so I could have put a little bit more tension on it. Um, but I wanted to be really sure that we didn't overdo it, um, because that is going to be an issue. Notice again, we can see the toes, we can monitor the toes for any kind of swelling or any kind of change, any odor. Um, and if they are bothering it, if it gets soiled, then we have to take it off and we have to replace it. Okay, any questions? We can break up into the two 